Hello there and welcome in. I'm Tree. I stream under Treacle on Twitch on Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. And here I do some some a gentle, gentle content for you to relax to, hopefully, over here on YouTube. If you would like to drop me a, a follow on either platform, I would be super duper grateful. I am a tiny content creator. Um, and I would love to see you maybe in one of my live streams or uh, or in the comments here. I have a series called my Gentle Nibbles series and today I'm going to be continuing that and we're going to take a little look at what seems to be a potentially very relaxing game, very chilled game called Apico. Apico is about bees and anyone who knows me knows I love bees. I am an ambassador for the Bumblebee Conservation Trust and therefore bumblebees are the bees that I very much look out for and the solitary bees too. Um, the honeybees get a lot of love elsewhere and I'm, I'm a sucker for an underdog. I'm interested in how Apico handles things and, and treats the different types of bees and it should just be a very chilled game. I've not played it before and I'm yeah, I'm really interested. So, if you'd be so kind as to join me, come on. Righty. At this point, I will unmute the game. But just to let you know, as always, I, I turn off any music in-game, no matter how good it is, just in case I need to edit. And uh, I don't like harsh sounds on ears. So... I just feel like editing with my own music in the background should lead for a smoother hour roll experience, if that makes sense. So let's pop the, the game sound on. Okay, I hear wildlife. I see, I hear birds. Um, let's have a little look, shall we? Let's have a gentle nibble. So I have not played this before. Um, therefore we will start a new world. Okay, I can I can do stuff with my character. This is super tiny, I can't really see what's going on. My hair colour, I think I like green. Or maybe this tealy green. What's my name? My name is Tree. Let's set sail. I do like the style of these games. I don't think I could only play... Is this 8-bit? Is that what it's called? Um, I don't think I could only play this style of game. But um, but I do, I do enjoy playing them every so often. Dear Tree, it was so lovely to get to your letter last week. I think it's wonderful that you're taking an interest in beekeeping again. Both me and Gramps always hoped you'd want to carry on the keeper family tradition and there isn't anything more enjoyable than being out here with the bees. Plus, I'll say it'll be a well-earned break from that busy city job of yours. They know me so well. I've posted you a ticket for the next boat that comes in. Skipper will be overjoyed to see you again after all these years. Have a safe journey and I'll see you soon. Love, Nana. Okay, this could get a little bit um, overwhelming for me. I have some kind of... Um, I, I don't have any grandmothers anymore, so this... this I'm going to try and ignore that and get over it. Um, so this is Skipper. Have they got pronouns? That's super sweet. Aha, we made it, Tree. And just as you're getting your sea legs, ho -ho, here we are, Port Apico. What a lovely day it is. Has it put the music back on? It's jolly good to have you aboard again, matey. Takes me back. Do you still remember your way round the place? No problem. I have my map. Here, I have my map. I know this place like the back of my boat. Anyway, you best go see the old girl. She's just at the end of the pier and down to the left. She's been a buzzin' ever since you let her. If you need anything, just holler. I've got a few trinkets you might find useful. Now off you go. Luck of the hive mother be with you. And remember, smooth sea never needed a skilled sailor. Ho ho. 
It doesn't sound very much like it. Let's put the music back on. Tree, it's so wonderful to see you. Let me get a good look at you. Nanabelia. <laughs> Cute. Have you been eating properly? It's been feeding you. Have you had breakfast? Shall I put the kettle on? How was the boat over? Did you feel sick or... <laughs> Sorry, that's me getting carried away. It's just so good to see you again. I was so excited when I got your letter. When you said you wanted to get into beekeeping, I was so pleased. It's been a while since we had a keeper in the family. Your father never cared much for it. I was looking through Grandpa's old things and found the guidebook he was writing. There seems to be quite a lot missing, so maybe you can fill in the rest. It would mean a lot to us both. You can view the guide at any time with G. Okay, I'm going to desperately try to remember that. If you ever get stuck, just have a look through. I'm sure some of Grandpa's wisdom will guide the way. Anyway, look at me. I took the ear off a bee. I'd better let you get settled. You probably want to go and explore the island. If you need anything, I'll be back at the house. Be safe. Okay. Itchy nose. Let's... Well, escape. Let me... It's put the music back up to turn. It has indeed done that. Okay. All right. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, no, no, no. I want to pause. How do I pause? I don't like games that give me time pressures. Um, so I, I just want to be able to pause stuff. Okay. Let's have a little pootle about, basically. This is Grandpa's Guide and this is Skipper's Map. And this is the bed. Okay. And what's this? A small crate. Hold shift to view contents. There we go. And that's got the B Economist. Um, issues one, two, and three. And some swarmwort seeds. Okay, I'm gonna nick that. I'm gonna nick this. And this. And I'm gonna steal those two. I'm not sure I need do I need these? I'm not sure. Anyway, what's this? <gasps> Okay, so this is a workbench. And I could make a saw bench. What is this for me? Is this little house for me? Or oh, and a mod workbench and a magazine rack. I guess that's where we could put those um those magazines that we just saw. So I guess click it to claim reward. Um, welcome to Apica, a game about discovering and breeding bees. This book will serve as your guide throughout the game. If you get stuck, lost, stung by bees, this book is here to help. You can open and close it book at any time by pressing G, yep, or clicking the icon in the bottom middle toolbar. You can close any books and all menus by pressing escape, good. If in doubt, I'd mash the escape button. Um, as you progress, you'll unlock new chapters, each with their own challenges and rewards. This is good. I approve of this. It is currently paused. Gives me twitchy eye when games bring up menus and time continues to pass. Because sometimes I'm having a little think, you know? Sometimes I need to, to weigh things up. But, um, okay. As this is your first chapter, have a freebie. Keep her safe. Her name is Beatrice. Okay, let's get our first B. Getting around. WASD. Okay. When you hover your mouse cursor over anything in the world, it'll bring up a tooltip in the corner with more information. How you can use it. Okay. You can interact with anything around you using the little mouse. And you can reach quite far with these cute little arms. I do have cute little arms, don't I? Punch some trees, pick some flowers, scare some birds, just go hog wild. Let's go aggro some forest spirits. Take this axe. Nice. Right? Okay, so I need to get some more logs. Uh, whenever you left click something, you'll use whatever item is in your equipped hotbar slot. Okay, select the fancy axe we just gave you. Okay. Um, 
go. Okay, we're gonna do. We're gonna hit some trees, I guess. Wait, where's the fancy axe that they just gave me? Oh, give me my axe. Oh, it's up here. Oh, is it, okay. I'm used to seeing my hotbar down there. Um. Oh my. There we go. That's a very. I hope that's not too noisy. Probably don't want to get all of the trees, because trees, you know, they're not a bad thing. I am known for my love of environmental things, so you heard it here. Trees are not a bad thing. to make it quite clear that um, as I'm a fan of bumblebees I do want to, to just touch on the difference between honeybees and bumblebees and particularly in the UK so honeybees and bumblebees are very different bumblebees which are like the cute fuzzy butt things you know like the little fluffy round things they are um, they do not make honey and honeybees apis mellifera they do make honey and you can have thousands and thousands of honeybees in one colony, in one hive. And bumblebees, they have much smaller colonies. And you'll find those in bumblebee nests. And you may get up to maybe 500 bumblebees in a nest. But, um, but it's, it's normally a lot. It's a lot lower. You have tens of thousands of bees in a honeybee hive. And, um, and just, just a couple hundred, maybe in a, a bumblebee nest so bear that in mind they are different types of bees so let's go here oh i guess i can click to claim my reward yes because i've got my 10 wood and okay now i've been given a workbench resource management as you start the deforestation of this poor helpless world, you'll notice you're picking up a lot of different things. Whilst you can always see your hotbar at the top of the screen, you can open your full inventory at any time by pressing E. Okay. So left will pick up the, the item, right will be pick up half, and middle mouse on an item to collect as many of that item as you have. Okay, not 100% sure I understand that, but... We'll muddle through. That's what we'll do, my darlings. Um, okay, so I want to make a saw bench. Time to get crafting. I have a feeling that this video is going to be quite, quite heavy on the, the getting to to learn things. So I'm really sorry that, um, yeah. That that's probably the case. The workbench takes into account all items in any open menus, so you don't need to be carrying the items to be able to craft with them. That's pretty neat. That is pretty neat. This this is probably grandma's bed, right? This isn't where I'm staying, is it? So I think I need to make one of these. Okay. And can I put it somewhere? Where is it? I guess I have to press E now. Oh, you can move these around. That's that's pretty neat. Oh, what what? Where did I put? I I don't know what I. Oh, I put it up here. Of course I did. <laughs> I'm a bit of an idiot. Um, I think this is set to save every ten minutes. Okay, so I've done that. Let's click that, and let's claim my twenty luck. And next steps. Let's at least get this section done. And we can always revisit this in another um, another video. Time to get crafting. Grab the workbench, plonk it down somewhere. Once placed, you can click on the workbench with left to view the crafting menu. And we'll see a recipe for saw bench. Get enough. No, we've done that. That's what I've done. I'm an idiot. 
Okay, that's all from this introduction. Um, we're not going to leave you completely lost and alone with nothing but bees. Nothing but bees. Bees are pretty cool. Um, as you discover and craft new items, you'll unlock new chapters of this book where you'll be given different challenges and rewards. Make sure you keep an eye here. Now, go little one. Be free. What? No, I'm not crying. It's just really dusty here. That's all. Just dust. Go and take this with you. Nice. Okay. Okay. So, should we have a little explore? Let's start our exploring. Okay, so you know, I've tried to zoom in and out with my middle mouse button and that does not... So we don't change, we can't zoom in and out by the looks of it. There's some people around here. I'm not going to start engaging with people. Because I feel like that's going to lead to a lot more dialogue. Or if these people seem to want to speak to me and I'm going to... I'm going to keep away from them. Oh, it, th it thinks like I'm trying to... No, no, no. It's all good. What's this? Town notice board. Okay. I'm just going to nibble away at the odd tree here and there. The style of this reminds me ever so slightly of Nessess. Nessess is, um, is a great game that I enjoy. I might have to do a little little video on this S. I haven't played it in so long. Oh, what's that over there? Okay, let's... Uh, I'm just gonna clear this, you know? I feel like this, this is an avenue. This is like almost a bit of a bridge to go over here. So let's just clear this. Now, this, this looks, in, this is the Hive Mother Altar. Okay, lots of bees around here. Now I think perhaps, right now we're just going to be exploring and having a little look. But perhaps if I do this again, we will, we will look into the, the bee stuff. Hold shift for info. Used to breed bees and produces honeycomb. Honeycomb is delicious. Bees in a natural hive cannot be crossbred. Interact by using. Oh, I don't think. Where's my hammer? I don't think I have a hammer. I should probably make sure that I have. Um... Oh, I could probably stick a workbench down somewhere. pop this here and I will probably end up wanting to plant those at some point oh the queen has finished her cycle so these are forest bees I guess we will learn about this if I actually talked to people okay let's head up here I'm just gonna keep exploring there's another beehive here. Did you know that... Um, so forage, that's that's what we'd call what bees um, forage on. Um, so if you have one honey beehive, you need the equivalent of an international rugby pitch worth of forage to support that hive. So only get honeybees if um, if you have enough space if you have enough land and enough flowers and the, the thing about um, providing forage is that you need something pretty much nearly all year round so you can't um, you can't just plant the same thing Oh, I wonder if I could get myself... No? No. I need a stronger pickaxe for that. Okay. I am small and tiny. Oh, 
I didn't realise I had two. Two axes. Oh, I'm in the water. Oh, heck. Oh, oh, heck. <laughs> okay. Interesting. I'm just going to keep exploring as much as I possibly can. Let's see, can I? No, I can't go down here. That's a shame. I imagine maybe that's something I'll unlock. Are these water bees? Let's see, let's move this over here. Um, verge, purebred. Blessed bee, what on earth does that mean? Amazing. Can I steal it? I can has? Oh my god, I stole the bee! Sorry, you can go back. I don't want to steal you. That seems a little unfair. Um, that was exciting. Oh, I'd best get out of the water. <laughs> it could be, it could be slightly painful. Okay, so this is cool. We've now found a verge bee. And I think we've already seen this type of bee, right? This one here. Oh, I see. So there's um, there's forest. But can I just take a couple of bees? They'll never notice, right? No one will ever. And I'll steal some honey. Yeah, but can I steal it? Noise. I'll take that one. I'll leave them with a couple of bees. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing because I haven't, I haven't progressed the story yet. Because I just didn't want to, to bombard you with too much, um, too much chatting. Well, too much game dialogue. What I might do if I play this again is have a little um, have a little try at maybe just cutting down some sort of paths just to make moving around a little more efficient. I won't get too many flowers. I don't feel like I should be cutting down flowers. I wonder if there's space for me to build my own little house or whether that first house was is mine. Okay, so I think, let's just see, see if I can go over here a little bit. Just see how far we can get. Ah, <gasps> there's something there. We'll have a little look. What's this? Can I have this? Is this for me? I could maybe, I was going to say steal. Um, take over. here? Could this be mine? There's a rain tank. I mean, nobody seems to be nearby. Okay, so I feel as though... Can I make a bed? I might need a bed. Um, it's, uh, so that's the saw bench and the workbench. Okay, I have not learned how to make a bed yet. It could be challenging. Okay, well, I have to say, so far I'm very much enjoying this. Come back with me, please, if you would be so kind. Now, I have to get ready. I'm about to stream on Twitch, so I must stop it there. But uh, I think it's a super cute game, and I am looking forward to playing it a little bit more. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm sorry that it was a little bit, um, a little bit heavy on the reading out of things earlier, uh, but um, it looks like a great game, and maybe we can explore it a little more later down the line. And if you ever want to talk to me about bees, I would love that. That would be just wonderful. If you want to to pop by again, I would be delighted to see you. Or I guess after today, I would be delighted. Have a delightful day. 
a wonderful week and the snuggliest of sleeps when it is time to go to bed, okay? Take care and thank you again so much for spending time with me and thank you for, for hanging out with me. You are very precious.